Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanna Renee Graham and welcome if this is your first time here. For today's video, we are talking all about my May's favorites as well as I'm giving you guys a little life update on where your girl has been. So enough with all that chit chat. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it. So first we're going to talk all about my favorites and then we'll get into the life update. So the first thing I have is hair care. Last month I was really going through a new stage of trying different hair care and different things. And some of the things I'm recently obsessed with is the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. And this is what it looks like. I've tried the shampoo and the conditioner and it does look a little watery but I can tell you it definitely gives you like those nice suds and it definitely gets the hair clean so recently I've been going between this shampoo and conditioner <laughs> as well as this melanin shampoo this is the African black soap reviving shampoo now I feel like when I have a lot of buildup and a lot of residue this is the one I want to go into I feel like it gets rid of like any of that gel buildup if you're someone who has curly hair like me this is definitely going to be something that's going to work to get out that residue all that stuff left behind with gel and product after product I definitely like using this um, I pretty much go hand in hand between this and the Carol's daughter when I want a really good like scrub 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 I'll use this another hair product I'm obsessed with is this Aussie moist it is their miracle curls um, curl defining oil and this stuff is thick like it's really thick I found this at Target and I would have to say I'm obsessed I really love how like when my hair is feeling really dry I go in with this every morning and I just pretty much just work it all the way through it gives your hair a nice shine but I definitely love this product it has coconut oil in there it has jojoba oil and I also like the fact that it's not one of those oils that when I tend to sweat it tends to run this is why I use this during the day and if I want to do like a heavier oil I'll do that on my hair at night but recently I'm obsessed with this it's Derma E I am obsessed with this Derma E scar gel I kid you guys not so I suffer from acne and hyperpigmentation I've been mixing this in with my normal normal face moisturizer and I feel like I see a difference in like any of my scars or anything that's left behind if you're someone who suffers from like redness or any type of scarring and I don't even think this has to be just on your face um, this is just like a regular scar gel and I like it. It literally has nothing bad in there for you and I just like to see that it's working because to me it's hard for me to find stuff that works but if you're looking for a scar gel check out Derma E. Up next I have so much stuff from Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild recently launched um it's like their collab with Spongebob which when I first saw this I was like mm, I don't know how I feel about it but this palette is beautiful. The pigmentation is nice and this is what it looks like. This is something I can honestly say I don't feel like this is their regular formula. I also have a video coming out with this palette. I love this collection. It also came out with a brush cleaner called Gary, as well as this silicone sponge holder. And it just looks like SpongeBob's house. I think it's cute. I think it was really creative. I can honestly say I love it and I can't wait for you guys to see the look I created with it. The next item I have is by the Crayon Case and it is the Chalk Dust. You guys know I love the Crayon Case. I have so many things from them. I created so many looks with um, her palettes. I'm obsessed. Um, but if you know, you know, I always use the same setting powder. I don't tend to venture out. But I recently just got my hands on the Crayon Case Chalk Dust Setting Powder in the shade N. I also have another one in the shade Y and I pretty much just use N for underneath and I use Y to like fix my contour and stuff like that but I definitely have to say I'm obsessed with them. If you're looking for a new setting powder to try I definitely would say go check them out. Up next I have a item that I'm currently wearing these lashes. These lashes were sent to me. Um, these are Star Lashes by Odette. Um, I don't want 
want to butcher her name, but I'm pretty sure it's Star Lashes by Odette. She is this lovely lady here on YouTube. I love her. I'm definitely going to put her channel right here. Please go check her out. She is so sweet. And she sent me these lashes. I'm obsessed. I like the fact that they make me look like I got lashes on, but they're not huge like a lot of my lashes tend to be so big that they look awesome on filming and I'm not really into like the large lash game outside the house inside I'm you know inside the house that's fine but when I go outside I kind of like to have something on that looks a little bit more natural for me and the lashes that I'm wearing now it's called Jess Girly it's cute it comes in this little pink packaging I love it thank you so much for sending me the lashes I greatly appreciate it I will definitely be purchasing more if you guys have not checked out star lashes please go check them out and show her some love it's black on you guys know support support up next i have a primer um recently i've been trying different primers and the primer i recently got into is the one size secure the blur primer i can i can honestly say i love this primer especially like for my pore areas underneath the eye like all that you love it it conceals it all I literally don't see nothing it is so smooth if you haven't tried anything for one size beauty I would definitely say check out the primer as well as the liner recently I've gotten back into doing liner I don't know what I don't know what's going on but I've gotten back into doing liner and the liner I'm obsessed with is also from one size beauty and I just like it it's felt tip mine is a little dirty because you know I use it a lot but I love it it's it makes it easy for you to get that really sharp wing if that's what you're trying to do and I'm obsessed I love Patrick star I love his brand I've tried a couple of things from his brand and so far these two plus those lashes I cannot I definitely will once it runs out I will definitely get more up next I have a bronzer um, recently I've been going through a hard time trying to figure out a bronzer to replace my covergirl queen bronzer if you guys don't know that used to be my ride or die it was just a matte bronzer with a little bit of shimmer so it just looked bomb and I loved it so I've been having a hard time trying to find something to replace that and recently I came across two bronzers this one one is by Color Rain and it is their Naughty Spice bronzer. It has a little bit of a reddish undertone and that's what I really like to go for something with a little bit of reddish undertone. I love this bronzer. I also picked up another one in Mocha Queen. I feel like I can go between both of those depending on the season. If you're looking for a new bronzer I would definitely say check this one out as well as this bronze duo pack from Juvia's Place and this is what it looks like. I can literally get away with both of these and I I would have to say I'm obsessed with the whole like bronze um, they recently had a launch and they launched a whole bronze collection and that's another item that's in my favorites as well I'm just gonna go straight into them um, I love the bronzer it it looks so good on my skin tone I love the fact that they give you two shades to work with because sometimes it's just hard especially when you're someone on a deeper skin tone it's just hard to find a bronzer that's going to complement your skin tone i also got the bronze rustic palette that i am i am obsessed with this and this is what it looks like i've already used it obviously but the colors are bomb um i created a really nice look with this palette lately i've just been really just trying to get more inspired by diving back into my makeup and this is definitely one of the palettes that I felt like inspired me the most. My last two items, um, one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is their brow style wax. I tried it before my brows, before I filled in my brows and I tried it after I fill in my brows and I can honestly say I love this for after I fill in my brows. This product just literally like, it's literally like a gel and it, your brows won't move 
your brows will not move at all. I don't care if it's raining outside, the brows will still be on your face. If you have not checked out their brow wax, please do. Last but not least, this last item is from NYX, and it is their new lipsticks. If you guys have not checked these out, these are like the, what is it, their, is it their like lingerie lipsticks, I wanna say? But these are like supposed to be XXX, like a, on a whole nother level. And I picked up the shade in Deep Mesh. And also, I picked up the shade Sizzlin. And the one I'm wearing right now is Deep Mesh. I love it. It dried down very nicely. It's almost like, I don't know why I just said it like that. Too much TikTok. But no, seriously, it don't move. It literally dries down. It doesn't transfer like that. I'm obsessed. They have so many different colors. It just really made me like these right here really brought back old school NYX. And that is pretty much it. These are pretty much all the items I have been recently obsessed with. Now time for the life update. Where have I've been um, basically I've been just dealing with a bunch of family things I've been focused on my family um, unfortunately we had one person um, pass from cancer and we have a person in our family battling cancer so that's pretty much where my mind has been um, but I did not forget about you guys um, I have one more giveaway box that I didn't get a chance to give out because I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to ship it out yet, but that person will be DM'd. I even threw a little bit of extra in there for your weight, and I want to thank you so much for your patience. I want to thank you all you guys for sticking in there. I want to thank the new subscribers. I've gotten new subscribers within this time frame. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um... I miss you guys and I'm back and these are the days I will be uploading. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for Star Lashes for sending those lashes over. I greatly appreciate it. Love the brand. Love the lashes. I hope you guys enjoy my current favorites. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in Sunday's video. Bye guys.